Oh, is there anything like sitting back in a hot tub, putting your feet up, looking at the mountains? Well, it's a lot of work to get there. So I showed in the previous video, I'm working on the soaking pool, the pool on the left, the smallest pool. It should be the easiest pool, but it was a lot of work. Here's a better view of the whole design. This is some um, uh, Amy's 3D modeling. She modeled all those boulders, and here's the hot tub uh, with the waterfall. Pretty cool, huh? To give you some perspective, there's the High Sierra, my neighbor's barn, Cricket's uh, backhoe, and then there's looking down the waterfall to what will be the cold pool. The day before, we did the first layer, watered up, and then covered it up. So starting day two, right about here. A lot of prep work goes into just collecting all the rocks. You can see my new 2018 Honda Ridgeline. It's new to me anyway. We load it up, maybe 800 pounds of rock, back it up. Then we unload it and watch the truck rise here as we keep taking boulder rocks. And they're not boulders, they're small rocks. But you can see the boulders, what we're building against. So we also have an electric mixer there to help us uh, to make all the concrete. So here we are. I have uh, Joey mixing and picking up the bags and I uh, spray the water in, but uh, he'll, he'd often carry both uh, five gallon buckets up to the site. Hello, day two of arranging the rocks here. So come on up here, we're uh, putting a lot of rocks together, but so we got a big selection. These were almost all from the yard. Some of, a lot of these we collected up in Mazorca Canyon and Reward Mine. But here, come in close to this. We have rocks. I've already been scraping some of it off, but it's like hidden treasures to see what's underneath these rocks. And that was a dirt downside, but there's so many pretty colors. Look at the greens in there and black. But a lot of, we split this rock in two today, but you got, you know, yellow and orange, green. This has kind of a pinkish hue to it. And then uh, up here is some of my favorite. This little rock is going to be a cascade rolling down here. Uh, and so this is the soaking tub, the hot tub. This will pour into the hot tub, which will be in this area, basically to the extent of those rocks there, and then the cold pool over to the lid. That's what we got going. Okay. All right, here we are, day three. We got the foundation laid. We got a four to six inch layer of concrete. Uh, we, so we got the whole stones laid in here. Come on in. And uh, we're gonna get mix mix some mortar right now and then dip it in or fill in all the cracks. So we got a nice smooth pool to lay down in. Eight feet long. This is gonna be a big bathtub I can lay all the way down in. Is that long enough for you? Almost. <laughs> I'm gonna hit my head on this thing, I think, a few times, but. It'll be worth it. Yeah, looks like your head will fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, good work, beautiful. This is really my first concrete stone project of any scale, um, especially one where I, there's a lot of high quality finished work. So something, Joey gave me a book to read about stone wall building. And one thing I didn't know is how you brush the concrete after you do. So that's what we're doing is chiseling and brushing it off. You can see uh, how you use water. Because that concrete mix just gets all over the place. And these beautiful rocks turn gray because of all this cement and concrete that gets in it. So you can see Joey spraying and, and brushing and revealing some of the rock again. It looks pretty good when it's wet, but when it's dry, that, that gray rock just gets all over the place. Uh, you can see how there's a white pipe on the right. That's gonna be the outlet pipe for the second hot tub. Um, we're just about, well, we're like halfway up the tub here. You can see it's uh, eight to 10 inches, maybe a little more in places of how high it is. 
but uh, it's a lot of squatting down your knees and scraping, and then you put another layer on, and then it gets covered up again with concrete, so that, we spent a lot of time brushing. One mistake we made, too, was the drain wasn't at the low spot, so you can see all this water that's sitting right in front of my feet there, and it uh, was a problem. I wish it would have drained a lot better. So if you're making a hot tub, definitely put the drain in the lowest spot. Uh, but uh, so you can see, I use a brush, a, a dustpan to get the water out of there, and it still sits, and it's got all that cement deposits in there. But uh, I'm gonna dry stack another layer here. So you see how we start. This is really the top layer of the of the upper pool. So we're doing getting a lot of work done. Uh, Joey was a huge help. It was uh, I couldn't have done it without him. He did a lot of the heavy lifting and uh, helped motivate me. Well, this is backtracking to the dry stack of the earlier uh, phase when you can still see the center blocks. So the center blocks and everything are all covered up. So you see all natural rock in the end. Uh, so here's a little faster time elapse. You can see how we lose the sunlight as it rises. It's about probably 1030 and you see me working in the shadows there, the little alcove. It's really nice, really a lot of hard work. There's him putting the concrete and doing that, that second layer of rocks. That's it though. I hope you, uh, Enjoy watching me do day two to probably day five in the hot tub. Have a good one.